So now, uh, this circuit's uh, really not going to do anything too exciting at all, other than introduce uh, or demonstrate a certain principle in electronics where you have LEDs right there. So they emit light when you pass current through them. you got to limit the current in some way and whatnot. Here you can see the uh, cathodes are headed to uh, ground right there. Anodes are going to the input of an op app. That doesn't provide power at all. And the reason why we're doing this is because they respond to light. They actually produce a little bit of voltage and current if possible. They will charge this capacitor right there. It's only half a microfarad, 0.47 microfarad. Um, but uh, in any case, um, they don't produce much power and uh, therefore, you know, somewhat low value uh, capacitor right there. But uh, the main thing is they cannot really provide power to a load or something. But if we're interested in their voltage or whatever, in fact, this is more of a cautionary thing. If for some reason you have LEDs where um, they end up meeting an input for whatever reason right there of an amplifier, their voltages will set a voltage or alter a voltage if you have a different voltage you want to set there's a good possibility it can alter the voltage at that input it's going to alter the voltage at the output right there something to be aware of i think i've only had one circuit where i accidentally did that once for whatever reason i had leds at the input and i didn't realize uh, the light uh, falling on it was going to change things um you know not a big deal but uh something to be aware of in any case we have the op amp wired as a voltage follower so first off um notice that uh, the LEDs and the capacitor are headed to the lower input right there. So we got output, the uh, minus, inverting input, the plus, non-inverting input right there. The plus is below the minus on the physical component. We have an op amp over there, same thing, but it's down uh, one spot because of where the power pin is uh, right there. So I always pay close attention uh, to uh, whether it's a plus or a minus on the schematic because the physical component, it could be in a different spot than the way it looks on the schematic. Hopefully that makes sense. And uh, I'm gonna grab the multimeter. So I uh, changed the uh, lighting setting because there you can see it got a little bit uh, brighter when I got the multimeter there. And uh, if I hadn't changed the light setting, then it would have been a little too bright, I think. So in any case, uh, we're gonna measure in relationship to ground. We can turn the meter on, it's auto ranging. All I have to set it to do is set it to V right there. And again, for uh, the schematic right there, we want a voltage measurement at the output. So yeah, I got the alligator clip to the probe right there and I can plug it anywhere I want on the board. So right now it's the output that we care about. And it's about three volts right there. And um, I could discharge it with the resistor I'm going to, um, but first I'm gonna light it. You can see it goes up and then it's gonna go back down because we don't have enough light to uh, maintain that. And um, I'm gonna discharge the uh, LEDs through a resistor right there and um, must have came loose yeah it was going up let's see if I can get it up with the resistor nope okay so yeah there you can see background uh, light is raising it and then of course the flashlight it's gonna raise it even quicker right there so the main thing is though we got the amplifier there taking the voltage of what the LEDs charge the capacitor to and uh, you know it could provide this uh, voltage or load. We could light an LED if we wanted to or whatever, do whatever, as long as we stay within the power limitations of the op amp, which of course are far higher than LEDs right there, but uh, still not uh, super high. So we already demonstrated that. Uh, we got the uh, three volts there. Um, we can measure the voltage. So I just uh, took this away. I'm surprised uh, it maintained that voltage. Must be a little capacitive effect at the uh, output there. That will definitely lower it. Huh, I thought that would lower it. That's interesting. But in case, we don't care about the output of uh, the op amp anymore. We're going to come to, I'm powering this with 5 volts by the way. We just need uh, more voltage um, than uh, what the output will do. In fact, no, that's probably our limitation right there. We don't have enough supply voltage. I just thought of that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to raise this to uh, 7 volts. And I think we might get, get higher there. I forgot. The uh, the output um, usually falls like 1.2 volts short of what your, uh, the of what the positive rail would be. So yeah, maybe we'll be able to get to like 5.7 volts now. Because um, these are red LEDs. They should be able to create a couple of volts 
per LED. So let's check that out. And uh, so yeah, sorry for uh, this being so long, but uh, I just thought of that. I should definitely check it. So yeah, now it looks like we're kind of uh, maxed out at uh, that voltage. But yeah, main thing is we don't need, or we need if we want to look at that voltage, the amplifier right there. Because if we try to just measure the voltage directly, then uh, it's already uh, discharged, I'm surprised. Um, let's get the uh, lamp on there. Now you see it can charge the uh, capacitor right there. Yeah, well, pretty well right there. Um, but the multimeter is lowering it uh, really quick. So if I get like a lighter light on there, it's still uh, discharging. I have to get it uh, pretty close right there to charge it up pretty quick. So yeah, the uh, multimeter is throwing off the uh, voltage of the capacitor, it's discharging it. There's about 10 million ohms of resistance with this multimeter when it is measuring uh, voltage. And uh, other multimeters don't even provide that much resistance. Uh, the voltage would be dropping even quicker right there. So again, this is not, uh, you know, like a, a serious circuit. You would never, you know, uh, build this to accomplish any goal for electronics. It's just more of a way of uh, seeing how LEDs can affect your amplifier if for some reason they're going to the input and uh, the other thing i was going to do uh get rid of this capacitor so first off the leds charge the capacitor also some of these uh flashlights they don't actually stay on steady they're turning on and off really rapidly but you know much more quickly than your eye can sense and the camera looks light looks pretty steady on camera so this one may not uh, be flashing but uh, i'm pretty sure this one does and uh, yeah I can see more of uh, the camera um, I think it smooths out when when I process it but yeah I can definitely see a, a flickering going on with the camera here so this one's definitely turning on uh, and off uh, rapidly and uh, so you kind of need a, a capacitor uh, if we had a, an oscilloscope it would be bouncing around but uh, this is this is more stable because it's just a multimeter but uh, any case yeah, that's uh, really about it. Not too terribly exciting. So this video is probably uh, too long already. So I'm going to end it there. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. I always turn the multimeter off as soon as you're done using it. And I'll see you in the next video.